Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about Linux Mint 22, and I've been using it over the past week or so uh, since the beta release kind of came out, um, and so I'm I'm playing around with it. I've still got my regular version of uh, Linux Mint, uh, which is 21.3, but I decided to play with the beta this time because I had this extra drive, and I was playing around with other distros, so I thought... Why not uh, go through the beta uh, with my favorite desktop, my favorite version of Linux, which is Linux Mint? So that's what I did. And I really like uh, the beta. I, I think it's really good. I, you know, there'll be bugs and things like that, but I haven't run into any as of yet. And I'm just kind of an everyday user like a lot of you. I'm not into all the different things that you can do um, I'm not a gamer. I'm not uh, a person who uh, programs per se. Uh, I don't get into all that minutia. And uh, if you're looking for answers, uh, best to get it off a Reddit post or something like that, or uh, Linux Mint's own community. Uh, one of their links is to a community forum if you can get answers that way. Some people have asked me questions, and it's like I'm just a guy who uses it and likes it. Uh, I'm not going to get into all sorts of different things of how you fix things and things like that because I'm going back to uh, those forums uh, in order to find that information myself. So anyway, uh, Linux Mint 22 is going to be coming out very, very soon. Uh, right now it's the beta test and they're asking people to report bugs and things like that. I'm not going to be doing that, although unless I run into something really weird. But so far, so good. I have been using it. Uh, let's just, you know, the desktop has some new desktop backgrounds. And, um, but I'm using it the way I always use uh, Linux Mint, which is for uh, just everyday use. Run a business, uh, do different things. Uh, graphics, uh, updates, all sorts of different things, just reading things, videos. Uh, I'm not a gamer, uh, but I do all the regular stuff. And I'll tell you what, I haven't run into any problems or any kind of bug yet uh, in the Linux Mint 22 uh, beta release. So, And they'll tell you right off the bat, don't use this for everyday use. Uh, and I haven't. For everyday use, I'm still using 21.3, and that's the latest stable release. But there's some differences in Linux Mint 22, and I think it's you know fairly significant. Uh, I can see why they made it a whole new uh, version and not a dot something version. Uh, Linux Mint 22 is going to be supported until 2029. It comes with updated software and refinements to make many new features to your desktop experience more comfortable is what they say. Has better language support and one of the things that they're going to be doing or that they do, if you choose a language, uh, it sounds like they're going to uh, remove the packages um, of uh, other languages that you don't need. Uh, the removal of these packages in Linux Mint 22 saves a significant amount of disk space post-installation. Pre-installed packages for language other than English and the one you select are, are uh, removed at the end of the installation. Uh, it wasn't optimized in previous versions. Some minor thing for most of us because I don't think those language packs, when you're talking about the, the drives that we have nowadays, it's not a really a big deal. Uh, it uh, ships with uh, says it ships with modern components uh, using the new Ubuntu 24.04 package base. Uh, better compatibility with modern hardware because the kernel version is 6.8, and that's interesting because uh, that's going to you know have the drivers and things that are going to be with the more uh, modern hardware. Uh, I think the one in 21.3, the kernel is still 5.15. Um, the default sound server uh, switched to Pipewire. Um, it's some of these things that I don't care about. Uh, 
uh, says an updated package uh, base doesn't bring just new technology. It sometimes can threaten existing features. Thunderbird continues to be available in Linux Mint 22 as a native uh, .deb package. Uh, let me see. So, you know, a lot of the basics haven't changed, although there's just the little wrinkles here and there when you're talking about like Thunderbird email. Uh, the software manager had a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, it says better security. Uh, and they're doing this with verified flat packs. And so by default, they're not uh, putting in uh, really any unverified flat packs as an available flat pack for you to download and uh, put on your computer. Uh, so by default, it's got a switch that says, uh, you know, show unverified flat packs, and it says not recommended. So if you don't do that by default, you're only going to get verified flat packs. And they're saying there could be some security issues if you're not careful and you don't know who the developers are, that type of thing. Uh, but if you want to, you can flip that switch and it'll tell you whether it's an unverified flat pack or not. Uh, you know, they really don't, uh, don't recommend that. And here, right here is where it says that shows uh, you can put the switch over and it'll say show unverified flat packs not recommended unverified flat packs represent a huge security risk they're not uh, officially approved by the developer of the application could be maintained by anyone anyone and that's the thing and see here's where it shows you that it, it's saying oh here's an unverified flat pack and I think that was a big deal because sometimes you'll get different versions of Chrome, Chromium, things like that, that could be unverified. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'd rather not use those. Um, so that's that. They also uh, <clears throat> are using Matrix as a, a chat thing. Um, so if you've got questions, uh, um, Matrix is, is a form of real-time internet chat, uh, that type of thing. Uh, you know, I it's it's great and everything. Kind of reminds me of of Slack, that type of thing. Uh, so Matrix, you can get uh, live uh, interaction with people, uh, but then I think you can also leave messages, that type of thing. So not a big deal for me because if I need something, I'll. I'll go in there and look for it, but a lot of times I'll just do a search uh, when I'm looking for an answer to a problem. Uh, Cinnamon 6.2, uh, it's got some changes going on. Um, less printer added notifications, Wayland support, spices, uh, workplace switcher. Uh, I mean, some things that, you know, if you use them, uh, you'll care about those. If you don't, you, you really won't. Um, they've had some other application uh, changes and just trying to make things better. Artwork improvement and the long-term strategy is that it will receive security updates until uh, 2029. So it's a long-term uh, stable update uh, once it comes out. Right now it's in beta. Uh, you can download it. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I haven't had any problems with bugs or anything like that so far. So uh, just really like the whole Linux Mint experience. And, you know, I think I came back to a point where I finally went, you know, I, I tried other distros. I've done all the distro hopping that you can do. I played around with a lot of other things, even uh, Kubuntu, which I liked as far as KDE. But, you know, KDE is not worth it to me if it's slightly buggy or something like that. And so uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, although not my totally favorite desktop, it's, you know, 95% of anything I would want and feel good about. So Linux Mint, to me, <clears throat> in my humble opinion, from an everyday user standpoint, I really think is the best Linux distribution out there. I've tried Ubuntu. 
Debian, all sorts of other different things. I don't think anything compares to it. And MX Linux, for as nice and how fast and snappy it is, it doesn't compare to uh, Linux Mint. I, I, I just don't see anything better than that. And there's some people out there that absolutely hate Linux Mint, and I'll probably hear from them. And if I do, that's fine. But leave a comment uh, what you think about uh, Linux Mint 22, the beta version, if you've tried it. Uh, I haven't had any problem. It's just like working with my regular uh, 21.3 version. Uh, but of course, this is in beta, so it's going to have some bugs. But if you're really putting Linux through its paces, and especially Linux Mint 22, the beta, you might uh, run into situations. Who knows? They're trying so many things to satisfy so many different people and their different computing needs. Uh, you just never know what you're going to get. So, But for an average user like me, it wasn't a problem. And there is the reason why I played around with this at all was because I could put it on another drive and then uh, when it comes time to upgrade to the stable release, I can just do that right from 21.3. It's got a an update path uh, for those of you using the latest version of, uh, latest stable version of Linux Mint. So it works out really well. And so I'll be able to just update it from there. And happily so. Uh, there's definitely some things about it I like. I think they just keep making Mint better and better. It just continues to be in my opinion, just really the best uh, computing experience I probably ever had in my life. Um, that includes any kind of Windows or Mac, anything. I, I just love it. And, you know, uh, I've said it before in the past that uh, sometimes my computing experience, I almost forget that I'm using Linux Mint. I'm just using my computer. And that's the beauty of it. You kind of forget about it. It becomes wonderfully boring in that it, uh, it just works and uh, consistently, day in and day out, it, it's just really the best. And 22 is going to be a great stable release once they get it out. Uh, in beta right now, I've, I've enjoyed it. It's not much different than before, but uh, definitely a good feel. And you can tell that they're really trying to do things <clears throat> in the project that uh, really work for just an average user, a regular person. They're trying to be, I think, that uh, distro that really checks all the boxes for people making the switch from Windows or Mac to Linux. And so I love it. And I'm a Mint guy all the way. And... It's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> I'm not going to change my mind. Uh, they'd have to totally um, trash it or something like that for me to let it go. I just think it works better than anything else I've tried. And now I've tried a lot of things. The other thing that I did uh, and that I said I was going to do, and I'm hesitant to do it now, is to go through all the different distributions. Uh, I guess I can, um, but... You know, there's some things that are just uh, uh, probably not very fun because some of them, they all have their different problems. I think Linux Mint, their whole team, um, which is, you know, not relatively small number of people, is really uh, focused in trying to get it right for that desktop experience. And they do it all the time. So Linux Mint 22 beta is out. Uh, test it if you're into testing software, but uh, don't do it for anything that's mission critical or anything like that. Make sure you have maybe a second drive or something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's just kind of a, a quick update from me, and I've enjoyed it, and I look forward to the stable release coming out uh, sometime, hopefully soon. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.